Have you ever been asked of the great whale which swallowed Prophet Yunus if it's still alive or not? In this story, we will know about Yunus a.s. story as well as this intricate question of the whale. Please stay with us. Then, let's get started. As everybody knows, Allah subhanahu sent many prophets to spread Islam worldwide. The Quran is the guide for all of Allah's followers and in the Quran there are 25 prophets mentioned. One of these is Yunus alayhi salam. He was called Sahib al-Hut, Ibn Mata and the Noon as well. Today my friends, I'm gonna tell you about his story following to what is said in the Quran. Please stay with me. Once upon a time, Yunus a.s. was sent to a town in Iraq, Mosul, called Nineveh, where people worshipped idols and fetishes made of wood, rock, and other materials. Town people had forgotten the right path for their lives, but the people didn't like him interfering with their way of living. Prophet Yunus tried long and hard to change their beliefs and apostate from polytheism so as to believe and worship Allah and be in theism. That is why Yunus a.s. warned and impounded them that a strong and severe punishment would come upon them, but they didn't listen to him. Consequently, said angrily, Prophet Yunus left the town and headed towards the port to board a ship. This last hadn't reached when the town sky got dark and began to change dangerously to the color of the fire. The townspeople fled to the mountains for safety and sincerely asked forgiveness from Allah. Allah removed his wrath except in their prayers and supplications. They also prayed for the return of their beloved prophet to once again guide them to the right path. However, Prophet Yunus had already boarded when a thundering storm came about the first night damaging the ship. In those days, the captain would pick a name to throw overboard the ship just to lighten the load. So, when the captain picked Prophet Yunus's name, the others thought he should pick again because he was the most honorable man of all of them. Nevertheless, his name was picked twice more. The Prophet Yunus had no choice but to jump. He was struggling in the wild waves and suddenly a great whale appeared and swallowed him without breaking any of his bones. Prophet Yunus found himself inside this big and dark fish stomach. Otherwise, he had been saved by Allah. He realized he had been wrong to leave Nineveh so soon and he had prayed for his forgiveness by saying, La ilaha illa anta subhanaka inni kuntu min al -dhalimin. Allah accepted his supplications and led the whale to the shore which threw him out safely. Then Allah said, لَوْلَا أَنَّهُ كَانَ مِنَ الْمُسَبِّحِينَ لَلَبِثَ فِي بَطْنِهِ إِلَى يَوْمِ يُبْعَثُونَ This ayat avers that the whale is no longer alive, simply because there is no argument neither in the Quran by the word لَوْلَا, which means had he not, as a condition, nor in science. After that, Prophet Yunus then returned to his people where he began once again his duty in Nineveh and he felt very happy because they finally followed him and worshipped Allah. If you like the story, please subscribe now, follow us and wait for more. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.